Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. In today's episode, we're gonna do another three in one geometrical print. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let's get cracking. Right, so for our first design, we're gonna do something super easy, super fun to do, and I get to play with the transfer foils that we have on our website. So I've picked those, which are gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with the, the pink, this one is quite colorful, it's lovely, and it's got a lot of triangles in it, and I love triangles. So um, I've cut a section here, which I want um, to be transferred onto the nail and I'm going to start our design by applying a um, coat of interlude all over the nail and I'm just going to go in with one coat because this color is super opaque and um, there's no need for that second coat. This is also a great color to use when you do character work for the mouth. Brilliant. Boom. Do you see that? One coat only. So we cured our layer. I'm going to go in with our foil glue and I'm going to apply a thin layer of that on the nail. And then we're going to cure that for about 30 seconds before we get our transfer foil on. Nice thin layer. And I'm gonna pop it in again, 30 seconds guys. 30 is the magic number. Right, so we've got our um, uh, foil glue uh, cured. I'm gonna go in and place that um, section that I've cut of the transfer foil on top of the nail. So I'm just going to place it where I want it to be, just midsection here. So I'm going to place it nicely, press it on, and then I'm going to go in with our silicone tool just to kind of really rub it in to that nail. So we transfer all of this goodness onto the nail. So I'm really gonna go in for it guys. Press it. And I'm gonna peel it off. And look at that, Drew. How gorgeous is that? And if a little bit has not transferred or whatever, that's fine, because we can add a few lines and make it look perfect. So we've got that on. I've noticed that I wanna do a little bit of a border on the sides. So I'm gonna go in with my triple zero three um, detailing brush. Uh, by the way, we do so many other brushes, but that's my favorite. <laughs> so I'm always going to go back to that one. Uh, so I'm going to do a nice thick line on this side. It's all the way down. And I might add another line on the other side but yeah actually I'll just work on those little lines that didn't transfer so well 
because I pulled it too quickly, guys. So I'll just paint those on top and then I'm going to add another line on this side. It's not going to be like a, a mirror, um, of course, but I do want to just add a little bit more detail. So I'm adding a line here and then I'll add a few lines in between. I might add a little line on the other side, like I said. And then you just blend that strip onto that nail that we've done before. look at that I'm gonna cure this now and then I'm going to go in with the top coat to seal the design in and this is design number one done guys look how gorgeous that is absolutely love this one and it was so easy to do I barely did anything right oh I love it definitely giving me like a festival vibe Oh, I just really want to go for a festival right now. Yes. So for our second design, we're going to go all freehand. I'm going to go and I'm going to go in with a um, a coat of rum raisin, which is one of our new colors. It's a it's a gorgeous lilac -y, Um It's got like also pink undertone to it. It's like a mixture of like baby pink and purple it's absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna go in and just paint one coat of that on the nail I'm going to cure this and we're going to go for the second coat before we start our design. Right, so both layers are now cured. I'm going to go in with the dotting tool and that's going to be just a tool to help me mark up where I want to um, place those lines or triangles that I'm going to paint. So I'm just dipping it into serious black and I'm mapping out the uh, location of the triangle. So I want it to be in the middle. So I'm going to go in and just mark a dot here. And I want to mark a dot here as well. And here, that looks quite symmetrical to me. Um, I think I want to go in and do another triangle at the bottom. So I'm going to try and do a dot parallel to the first one. And then a dot here and a dot here. So I know where to join the lines that I'm drawing. And I want to do probably another line. Yeah, let's start with this first and then we'll go uh, <laughs> see how we go, guys. So I'm going to go in with my 0003 um, detailing brush. Just going to pick up some of that serious black. And I'm going to go in and start joining those dots together to create the triangle that we want. So again, just joining those lines. Nice and easy. It's easier to mark up what you want to do rather than just sometimes going in because then you might mess up and you have to do it again and your client can get impatient. I know they get really impatient with me because I take my time with art. So again, I'm going to join those lines. And now I'm going to fill them in 
uh, completely. A little bit of a hack for you guys. If you want to do line work and you don't have like um, painting gel or anything like that, um, you can put serious black in the fridge for a few, um, for like half an hour or so, so the gel gets cold and it gets thicker and then it's easier to control the gel when you paint lines with a thicker consistency. So we've got two triangles here. Um, I'm gonna outline one of the triangles uh, to create another kind of um, shape on here. So I'm just drawing a parallel line to the triangle. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So we've got this, Ooh. a little bit thicker on here, and I'm going to cure this for um, about 15 seconds. Right, so flash cure this for a little bit. I'm going to go in and thicken that line that I've just done. I think I want it slightly thicker, so I'm just going to add some thickness now. Right, so we've got that and now I reckon I'm gonna do a couple of more lines on each side so where that point meets over here I'm gonna just do a line down here sorry And I'm going to do another line on the other side. Wow, it's actually symmetrical. <laughs> Looking in a mirror. Uh, so we're going to, yeah, I'm going to add a couple more lines, I think on each side. So just a parallel one to the first one that we did. One here and one on the other side. Oh, I'm loving this already. And now I'm gonna add some tiny lines in between those lines that we've done. So just literally dragging a line through. Can't really see what I'm doing, sorry guys. There we go, that's more like it. So it's again one. Ooh, very nice. So I've got this. I'm just going to sharpen this line over here. Yeah, nice one. And add some color at the end. And I think we are missing a couple more lines. Sorry, guys. I think 
we need to have a little bit more on this nail. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and just drag a line here. And another one, opposite side. And I'm going to make them both thicker. So we've got our design ready. I'm not going to finish it just yet. I'm going to be adding some glitter after I flash cure this from our new range. Right, our nail is now cured. Um, I'm going to be using a glitter called Elysium and it's a gorgeous color. It's like, um, it reminds me like of the chrome flakes just inside. A bottle really so I'm just gonna show you guys how gorgeous this looks it's just unbelievable and I think if you paint this on top of black oh just another level I'm gonna go in with my triple zero three detailing brush I'm gonna pick up some of that color and I think I'm just gonna fill in those triangles and give it a bit of a you know sparkle we love sparkle don't we I, I mean I love sparkle I'm obsessed with glitter my house is full of it everywhere right and look how gorgeous this looks I just have to show this off ah okay I'm gonna do the second triangle as well just to add a little bit of dimension and That is just stunning. I'm taking this bottle home. <laughs> so I've got the glitter place where I want it to be. I'm going to cure this now and then we're going to go in with the top coat. Right, design number two here. I'm going to go in with a top coat. If I find it. It's here. <laughs> it's in the drawer. Okay, design number two, ready to be sealed. I'm gonna go in with our Urban Graffiti top coat. Slap it on a nice thin layer. Just to lock in all that goodness. And it was really easy, you see, just marking up where you wanna, you know, join those lines. So those little things that you just learn and hacks that make your life a bit easier. So I have kept the edges and I'm just going to pop this into the lamp now and cure it for the full length of time. And that's our design ready guys. Look how gorgeous this is. Just a few lines and glitter always works. <laughs> Hope you like it. And we'll now go to design number three. Right, so for our third design, I'm gonna go in with Series Black. Uh, for this one, it's gonna be more black and white because I wanna create a geometrical design, but also an optical illusion. So I'm gonna go in with a tin coat first. I'm going to cure this and we're going to go in for the second coat. So we've got both our coats cured. Um, I'm going to go in and use one of our gorgeous flakes. Love this color. This is my favorite one, I think, out of all. Or maybe the green one or the blue. I don't know. I love flake, guys. Flakes are everything. I'm going to uh, place them on the top half of the nail. And I'm going to try and create like an ombre effect. 
I'm going to place the flakes on and just create like a gradual ombre effect. So I'm just patting it on the nail. Oh my God, look how gorgeous this is. Love it. Um, I'm going to go down slowly and kind of feather it out. So I'm creating this kind of ombre. No, you'll just stick to that tacky layer that's already there. But you've hit a nail on the head there. I'm going to take a um, lint free wipe with gel residue wipe off solution and I'm just going to just wipe off the section underneath. I mean, even if you go on top of the flakes, see, it's not wiping them off because they're already stuck to the nail. So it doesn't really matter. But I'm just concentrating at the bottom of the nail because even if I wipe it fully, look, it will still be there. Um, it's just stuck now to the nail, so it's gorgeous. So I've wiped that tacky layer off and again, just because it's a bit tinted and I'm going to paint some white on top of it. So I don't want the uh, white to uh, be slightly grayish. Or whatnot. So I'm just going to clean my brush as well because it's uh, full of uh, black. <laughs> so I'm going to clean my uh, brush properly, give it a bit of a squeeze, and actually I'm going to start with the dotting tool just to map out where I want my triangles and lines to go. So I'm going to go in to that white um, on my palette and I'm going to just map out where I want my first triangle to go. So I think it's going to be here and here. And I think I'm just going to follow that once it's done. Um, so I'm dipping my brush into Snow White and I'm just going to join up those lines. It's one. And two. And I'm going to create a little line here. And I'm going to fill that in. I'm now going to go in and just create like parallel lines to that uh, triangle and join them up in the same point, just like this. And I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Then I'm going to add a few more. Um, so it looks like half a nail is done now. Uh, I'm going to now uh, fill in the sections, but I'm going to leave it like so. One is um, white and one is empty. One is white again and the other one is empty. So we leave it blank. Right, so we've got these sections done. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more lines just to fill in the uh, empty space. So I'm going to go in here, just add another line and bring it to the middle. And then I'm going to go in here and add another line in this corner. So I'm going to fill that in with white. Again, if you want the consistency, 
to be thicker stick snow white in the fridge just before you paint and that's side number one done so before i mess this up which i have the tens uh, tendency to do a lot uh, i'm gonna uh, cure this for about 15 seconds and then i'm gonna do the other side so we flash cured this uh, and now i'm gonna do the other side so the other side is super easy we're just gonna repeat the same um design but we're gonna swap so where it's white is gonna be blank and where it's blank is going to be white so i'm gonna mark up the lines on the other side um i'm just gonna do a dot here so i know where i'm joining them up And I want to make that as symmetrical as possible. So I think it's here. If it's not, we'll find out. Oh, it is. Okay, lovely. So I'm going to go in with Snow White. And I'm going to be filling this section in. Don't forget I've added a line at the end. So I'm going to mark that up as well. So I won't color the whole nail in. So I'm going to be... Ooh, there we go. I'm going to be coloring this section here. this and now I'm gonna do just the other side so um, that's why that's blank so this should be white here as well that optical illusion was playing tricks on me for a second <laughs> no, I was like huh? what <laughs> Right, so we've done this. Uh, I'm going to cure it for the full length of time. And then I'm going to go in with the top coat to finish off this design. And this is design number three, guys. Hope you like it. Geometrical, optical, super fun to do. And also, you can, you know, like do one nail like this. And then you can create on the, the rest of the nails like a French with the triangles and create an optical like... A little section of optical illusion on the French and that would look really good so that could be like the center of the whole look and then you can have some Frenchies to um, match this design so I hope you like it and that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know what other three in ones you'd want to see um, and let me know which one is your favorite I think mine is probably number three yeah, I'm going to go with number three. Um, yeah, until next time, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Clap, clap, everyone clapping. Ready?